Minnesota farm town reshaped by migrants wrestles with real changes beyond the political vitriol. As Associated Press Two Guatemalans wearing traditional embroidered skirts bought coconut boba teas on an October afternoon. Un at the bustling downtown Asian market. Over the past generation, immigrants from Southeast Asia, East Africa and now predominantly Central America have transformed this once overwhelmingly white community on the vast prairie. Students of color constitute more than 80% of those enrolled in K-12, Spanish is most children's fur. Saint language and soccer is far more popular than football. Below are your comments. I grew up in the diversity of the U.S. Navy, living in other countries, going to schools with other street. Udents that spoke a wide variety of other languages. It gave me a totally different world view than people who never left their town, never met anyone th. At looked or spoke differently, for which I'm eternally grateful to have experienced. So I can totally understand how amazing that community embraced people from elsewhere and have been working to make all the different communities come together. And therein lies the problem. We've seen France, the UK and parts of Scandinavia changed by too much immigration that won't accept the culture they've moved to. They want the Middle East or wherever they moved from to be like home. Why? You left there. Then the current inhabitants that have been there for generations don't want to be living in the mid. DLE East or they would have moved there. If you're moving, try to accept the culture you chose to mob. E into. Then people will accept you. Show up and change everything and you won't be welcomed. Our town is in similar situation. Pork processing plant and mammoth tomato farm factory were built, and then the floor gates opened too. An immigrant workforce. If they will break the law to do this, what else will they do? The answer is anything that makes them wealthier. The one thing that would make immigrants more welcome is if they assimilated more. They should, must learn English and not congregate only amongst themselves. They must pay their fair share of the costs from local taxpayers for services that had to be created and funded. Locals do not have to assimilate to newcomers as it is my house and you are an invited guest. As a guest you should abide my rules and laws i.e. Sharia law is not on top of local law as an example but here we are speaking of Latin Americans. When I lived in a foreign country I learned, spoke the language and local traditions and culture. We are not asking immigrants more than they can bear to assimilate. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.